looked it up. You know, uh, tonight as we was worshiping, I, I, I had a, a vision of, of Rick Joyner, uh, the founder of our ministry, you know, who's been battling some, some serious health, health issues. And um, I was thinking about uh, him tonight as, as we were worshiping and talking about the greatness of our God. And I remember just two or three months ago, it was, it was on his birthday. It was, his birthday just happens to be September the 7th. Now, that's public information. That's not like me telling something that... Um, but uh, I felt like that was relevant. I don't know if that would make sense to someone, but September 7th, is there anybody that that is true for? It's your birthday. How about you? Well, two of you together. <laughs> wow. Well, that's interesting. <sighs> Let me say this to you. I, I, so I'll, I'll, I'll start with you. I think it has this. I saw the name Marie. That's your middle name. And uh, also Luke 418. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he knows. Let me just pull that up here. Let me read it. Um, you may be wondering what in the world that has to do uh, with you, but uh, Luke 418, let me pull it up here in my mobile Bible. <laughs> Just a minute here. Luke 418. Yeah, here it is. This is when Jesus quotes Isaiah 61. And he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. That was, that's the anointing of Jesus Christ, the Luke 4.18 anointing. And uh, you know what it actually says there? it gives you the remedy for sin, the ministry of Jesus Christ, because he says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. How many of you know sin impoverishes? He sent me to heal the broken heart. How many of you know sin breaks hearts? Um, to preach deliverance to the captives. How many of you know that sin brings bondage? To recovery of sight to the blind. How many of you know there's, as a result of sin, there's physical sickness and disease and infirmity in the world, to set at liberty those who are bruised. How many of you know there are people that are wounded below the skin? That's what a bruise is, right? When there's bleeding below the skin. Uh, so that's interesting. I saw Luke 4.18, and I believe that there's a new kind of anointing coming on you tonight, uh, specifically. And this may be even hard for you to see, but it's like a Luke, it's a, like a Luke 4.18 fire. 418 something. I don't know. It's interesting. There's something 418. Uh, and I'm 39. I don't know what that means, but fire, fire, fire friends or fire ends or something. What is it? 41839. Friends. That's your address. 418. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah, there's a, that's your address. Well, the Holy Spirit's on you right now. If you'll just receive it, God can help you disciple people, break poverty off of them, break sickness off of them. You need to believe in, in, in God's ability to expand your capacity to use you in a new way as a disciple maker. You've got an evangelistic anointing, more than just administrative anointing. You've got an evangel you, you have soul winner capabilities. And I see the Lord using you in a great way, especially with a man who has a serious back condition. God's going to use you to pray for this man with a back condition. And when you pray for him, he's going to be healed. And that's how you're going to know this anointing uh, has begun. And uh, I don't know if you know who that man is, but God will know. You, God will show you. And when you meet him, you're going to pray for him. And there's also another man with a prostate condition who gets up frequently at night. You're going to pray for him. He's going to be healed. And you're going to know it's the Luke 4, 18 anointing that's come over you. Amen. And right behind you as well. I don't believe I've ever met you. Is that right? Yeah, never met you. But are you a visitor here? Yes, you are. Wow, how interesting. 
You know, as I look at you, I see it's like a golf club in your hand. You're from the golf capital of the world. What is it? Palm Desert, California. Wow, I see you. It's the Lord saying he's given you another opportunity to take another swing at it. But, but, but it's, it's, it's got to do with spi- but a spiritual opportunity. It's like maybe that you missed before and, and maybe you, you didn't get a hole in one. But I feel like that God's given you a whole new platform. It's like a whole new opportunity. And uh, I see a biblical name associated with you, someone close to you with a Bible name. It's a name of a Bible character. It's right on the tip of my tongue. It's right there. Um, Help me, Holy Spirit. But regardless, I'll come back to that. I just pray that the Holy Spirit will release over you this ability to swing and to aim and to put your energies behind the right thing. Okay, And I ask the Lord to heal your hip, your knees, and your back as well. Okay, Because you've put a lot of energy uh, in things in life that have not brought you good return. And there's many things you've done that are good, that have brought good return. But the Lord's going to give you a second chance for a first impression. With relationships, with your walk with Him, there's going to be a renewing. And uh, there's going to be a re- restoration of hope in your life. And I see him bringing strength even to your heart right now. There's heart strength coming to your heart. Heart problems. Yeah, I see that. And I see him touching your cholesterol as well. I see triglycerides that are high. Isn't that right? There's some. Yeah, I see something over it, like 300, 325, something like that. But brought God, pardon me? You don't know the number, but, I, well, I, I can see it. Uh, can I pray for you? Yeah. Well, ask, ask the Lord right now, if he will, to heal that back, your knees, and uh, your joints and ligaments and arthritis and all that just has to go. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, I pray for your glory to come to this man in a new and profound way. Let him, Lord, have a birth. Even though he's born on the the 7th of September, I pray, God, that today would be a new birthday, a new start, a new beginning, a new healing, and bring restoration with relationships. Lord, that life has, has brought Uh, difficulty on. I pray, Lord, for him to be a father to prodigals. I even see that grace being given to you to restore and reach those who have walked away from the faith. And may the Lord renew you right now in Jesus Christ's name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I see Callaway, like Callaway. uh, That's the kind you use, the there's no way I could know that. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I found all the lost ones you've thrown out there. But that's the kind of ball you use. That's interesting. Well, the Lord just wants you to know he knows the details of your life like that. And I just really see that, that you have a fresh opportunity to hit the ball in the right direction. And uh, it's a mulligan. Start over. You used to be a part of a Bible study named the Mulligan Club. Oh, my goodness. There's no way I could know that. Well, how do you do? Pardon? My name's Hal Grimm. Hal Grimm. Well, how do you do, Hal? How do you do? That's the divine pun. The Lord knows who you are. One Yeah. Yeah, my wife, your wife says I'm taller. Than- yeah, yeah. Um, how tall are you? Uh, well, I'm probably around six, 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 seven. So that's probably. Well, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, Callaway Hal. That's. That's what we're going to call it. So the healing for your body, restoration, um, 
The Lord's going to restore that which he took not away. I, I don't know. Do you have children? Yeah. I, it's interesting. I don't know why this young lady keeps coming before me. And I don't know exactly what this means. Yeah, this, this young lady keeps coming before me. And I believe she's at a crossroads in her life in a unique way and has to make some very important decisions. But the Lord is going to release grace to her on this what is the 16th, 17th day of November, the 17th day of November. He's going to release grace uh, to her, and uh, she's going to know which direction to take. And I feel like she's even, there's going to be even a renewing of connection with you and her. Uh, and that's something that you've desired and prayed for, having a legacy with your child. You, only have, you have more than one? Just her. Wow. Only child. It's a young lady I see before me and uh, she I even see her bearing your countenance uh, in some ways it's like she's as beautiful as your wife well that's a compliment well but, but uh, since you both have blondish hair I'm assuming she has light colored hair well that I didn't have to be prophetic for that one um <laughs> But uh, may the Lord just reach her where she is. Is she a believer? Yep. Something happened a few years ago that caused her to kind of pull away from the Lord in her heart. She saw some negative things just with a bad experience, maybe with church or church people or associated with a church situation. But I feel like that the Lord is drawing her back in this next season, you're going to see that. That's why I said the prodigal. The prodigals are going to come home. And you're going to be like the prodigal father. So extend that hand out to her when she comes. And may the Lord use Hal in Jesus' name to get a hole in one with his daughter. Uh, and uh, this is a mulligan. This is another mulligan. And Lord, I don't know her at all, but you do. And so I just pray for... Uh, someone, it's like a Sh Sh Shannon or something. Shannon. Shannon, yeah. So Lord, we just pray for Ch Shannon in Jesus' name. God, you know I don't know this man at all. I've never seen him in my life. We've never communicated, right? Never communicated. Uh, and you're a visitor here. About us first. Yep. Yeah. Well, God knew you'd be here tonight. And that's what matters. Wow. Give the Lord praise. <clears throat> We just want to obey what he says tonight. I, I, and by the way, the thing with the hips, the back, and the knees, okay, I just feel like joint pain. I feel like the Lord is restoring uh, inflammation, even though I think you're a fairly healthy man, you've had some heart problems, but I see him giving you new body parts. And just receive that in the name of Jesus. Hips, restoring your sleep at night even.